This is my first time taking a very real look at opioid Lucci. And I actually don't know what's going on. Like, I'm reading this and I'm like, yo, next set is actually going to be miserable. Like, I don't know, man. Let's go ahead and look at some of the new 08 cards before we look at the list. So this is by far, like, the craziest thing I've ever read in, like, all of One Piece. Now, I'm not trying to say that this is the most broken card in all of One Piece, but, like, I'm reading this card and in my mind, in my mind, I'm just like, what is going on, bro? Like, this is, like, this is even crazier than uh than when I saw Moria. Obviously, Moria is a super broken card and stuff like that. But when I look at new cards, um, I like to think of matchups and stuff like that, right? And like I think most of Lucci's matchups stay relatively the same. But the thing is, Jack completely f's up the mirror match. And I it, sorry, I had to censor myself because you know YouTube and stuff. But um, like it really just messes up the mirror match. Like it this, it just doesn't make any sense, right? Like if you're the player going first, you play Jack on seven. You now have this 11 cost, and it's like, what is what is your opponent supposed to do, bro? Like, if if they play their own Moria, right? They play Moria, they play four costs. Jack just kills the four costs, and the player going first plays their own Moria, and they just kill it. So, like, now I think, um, I mean, obviously in Black Mirrors, people are always like, oh, if you go second, you probably win. But, like, um, going second was never, like, an insta-win in Black Mirror matches, right? It's like, if you're going second, you're favored, but the player going first can still kind of win. But this just messes it up. Like, how does the player going first, if they see Jack on curve, how do they not win every single time? I don't know if I'm tripping. Let, let me know if I'm missing something here. But, like, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, it's just a wrap. Like, the, the card's 11 cost. Like, how do you get rid of this? I don't know. So, uh, so I was drafting up a CP Lucci list to start off with. And I think I have a pretty decent list here. But I do want to start off this video. Before we look at the list, Um, I think that, CP Lucci probably won't be the best version of Lucci this set. And that, that might sound crazy to say, but like the thing is, is like the reason you play CP is because of like the whole uh Rebecca span down combo, which uh let me pull that up. It's because of this, it's the whole Rebecca span down combo. It's like this combo is like pretty insane, right? It's like you get to play your Moria, Rebecca, Lucci, so you get to clear two units on your opponent's board while playing like a blocker and stuff like that. But the thing is, is even if this combo didn't exist. Lucci would still beat every deck it beats and lose to every deck it loses. The main thing that this combo is crazy in is mirror matches because you just get extra cards. But with Jack completely messing up the mirror match, I think we have to look for probably other ways to get advantage in the mirror match. So I wouldn't be surprised like if like Navy Lucci became really good just because like I don't know they utilize like Tashigi or something like that. Or I wouldn't be surprised if actually no, I would be surprised if Animal Kingdom uh, was used because I don't know the Animal Kingdom package is kind of lacking. Aside from this Kaido here, uh, which we'll talk about later, because I'm not actually including Kaido in this list. Um, but yeah, I think I think Navy Lucci could potentially take over just because they have access to like better cards, like maybe Kuzan or stuff like that. I don't know. I just know that this has got me messed up in the head while I've made my Lucci list. But anyways, let's go ahead and look uh, at the new Lucci list. So this is my first draft for the new Lucci list. Keep in mind, once again, this is a first draft, so I'm definitely open up to suggestions and stuff like that. Uh, but you'll see that I basically just slammed in like the new who's who, Jack and Kaido. So we'll talk about each of these. So I've already talked a bit about Jack. Um, I think that we were already like strong enough into all the matchups. Uh, wait. <laughs> Damn. All right, there we go. Oh, oh my God. All right. Anyways, I think we're already strong enough into all the matchups uh, that we're strong against. But Jack can make us even stronger because now we get access to like, let's say we play Jack on seven. On our non down turn, we can use like Ice Age plus Jack to pop something. And then our Moria can play literally whatever we want from trash. So, like, a card to maybe consider would be Kuzan. Uh, but we already have a lot of counterless, so it's kind of hard to like consider Kuzan here. But imagine that like we play Jack, we do Ice Age Jack, and then we just use Moria. We just do a value Moria, like just Moria, Kuzan, Spand them. Like, that's a pretty crazy combo, right? So, Jack just opens up lines like that. And obviously, in mirror matches, this card is just broken, bro. Like, I really think if we just go first, you slam Jack on seven. I don't get how you lose, bro. Like, that's just that's just so much tempo. Like, you just have this 11 cost that your opponent literally can't deal with. Uh, the only way I've found to deal with it right now is if you do, like, Ice Age Finger Gun, which uh, this will pop 11 cost, right? Because this is 10 plus the leader ability 11. Or if you do, like, Ice Age Tempest Kigluchi or, like, Ice Age Hamapuluchi, that'll be a way to pop a Jack going first. But the problem with both of these plays is what if your opponent just plays another Jack, bro? Like, it's... 
it's messed up, man. Like, what if they just play another Jack, or if they just like send like a Moria or something? Like, I, I don't know, bro. It's it really is messed up. Like, it's this card's insane. Like, I feel like if you're the player going first, you play Jack on seven. You just have so much tempo. Even if your opponent does manage to re remove it, they've used like three cards, or they've used two cards, established nobody, and they're just free to play like another Jack or another Moria. So I think mirror matches are just like cooked right now. They just seem absolutely cooked. Uh, maybe there's some early game tech that people haven't that we just haven't found yet that might help make this easier but yo what's looking rough out here man i'm honestly i'm a bit stressed bro like, i don't i'm a bit stressed um but one thing i will say about jack is one card people consider to use to kind of play jack with stussy but the problem with stussy is it's only nine costs right so if the player going first plays jack on seven uh the player going second uh only has eight down so not able to play stussy i will and even even if uh we want to counter uh jack later in the game ice age Helmepo, this is why I still play three Helmepo, by the way. Ice Age, uh, Moria, Helmepo, Luchi actually pops 11 costs, right? Because 5 plus 3, 8, leader ability, 9. Luchi pops for 2, so 9 plus 2 is 11. So we don't even need Stussy in our deck. We can actually pop the Jack without Stussy by just doing Ice Age, Moria, Luchi. Maybe there's an argument that, um, maybe there's an argument that, uh, like Stussy's just like a clean way to just clear Jack. But I think that, one, like, if you're the player going first, like, you're already winning because you got to play Jack first. And two, I'd rather have Kaido for the BY Luffy matchup. So let's actually talk about the Kaido now. So I think Kaido is another card that could be really, really strong, at least before the starter decks come out. So I want you guys to keep in mind that this list is pre-starter deck because post-starter deck, people claim that Doflamingo, Blue Doflamingo is going to be like the new best deck or something like that. But Blue Doflamingo has not gotten that support yet. That means that we can afford to play greedy cards like Jack and Kaido. So Kaido is going to be a card that's very, very strong in the BY Luffy matchup. It says... Activate main, you may discard one card from your hand. If this character was played this turn, the reason they phrase this, by the way, is because of the new Blackbird leader. So if you guys haven't checked that out, that's an OP08, not OP07, so don't worry about that. But anyways, if this character was played this turn, place up to one of your opponent's characters of cost seven or less into the trash, and your opponent discards one card from their hand. So we discard a card to make our opponent discard a card, and then obviously if we use our leader ability, we're actually trashing eight costs off of this effect. And this card's going to be very, very nice uh, against BY Luffy because it's a big body that gets rid of one of their big bodies that is like actively killing us. So uh, really excited to be testing uh, Kaido in this deck. Um, I guess I'm not 100% sure if it's better than Six House Brook because Six House Brook is still a really good like six down play. I'm going second and stuff like that. But uh, this is a card I want to test. The next up we have Who's Who. So this slot used to be Kaku. And uh, I think most people just think of Kaku as a 2K. Like I even see the Kali dudes had only had Ka like two Kakus in their list uh, at the European Nationals. But the thing about Kaku is Kaku was also an excellent backup play for when we didn't have Moria. So basically, if you use Ice Age or back when we had Eni's Lobby, if you did like Tempest Kick plus Eni's Lobby, you could do like Ice Age leader ability to make your opponent in the mirror match to make your opponent's Moria two costs. Then you could use Kaku to make their four costs a one cost. And then you could do like Rebecca, Spandine, Luchi in order to pop a two cost and a one cost. So basically, it's like another Ice Age, Moria, Helmepo, Luchi combo, except you can do it without playing Moria, we still get two bodies out, and they're two meaningful bodies, by the way, right? We have 5k, 6k, and we get a blocker. So basically, it's this set's version of the Rebecca Hina Luchi combo, and I think this is the ideal play you want to make when you don't have Moria, but thanks to Jack being in the deck now, I don't think we need this combo anymore, because when we don't have Moria, just play Jack, bro. Just Ice Age Jack pop something. That's absolutely insane. Uh, as for the rest of this list, I guess the last two cards that I really want to talk about is uh, Finger Gun. So as I mentioned earlier, part of the reason I'm playing Finger Gun is because Ice Age Finger Gun pops 11 cost. I also think that if the meta stays the same as Luchi, BY Luffy, Bonnie, Finger Pistol is still going to be very, very strong against, against Hawkins. Maybe Jack is already good enough to, to be Hawkins, to be honest. Um, but I'm still just having the Finger Pistol there because you can pop the Hawkins on curve, obviously. And then I think Ice Age Finger Gun might just, you might just have to pray it gets you there in the mirror match or something like that, right? And then uh, lastly, we also have Brooke. Um, this is a card that I'm still a bit confused on like i mentioned uh on patreon i might have mentioned on youtube as well that like this card is basically just extra copies of luchi to combo with your moria combo but i think another thing is if you get out an early brook when you're going first you can actually let your jack pop five costs on curve so i think cards to consider with jack are probably brook and tashigi uh i just haven't fully explored it yet because maybe it's too cute to include like tashigi or brook to combo jack maybe it's not necessary um but yeah, that's part of the reason why I included it. Aside from it just being able to like pop a unit, I thought that being able to kind of bump up Jack's popping amount when going first would be pretty decent.
Uh, last thing I want to mention before we close off this deck list here is I'm really, really interested in exploring like a Navy package now. Because I think uh, I think the main reason to play the CP version was because of the Rebecca spend on Luchi combo. But one thing I will say is even if this Rebecca spend on Luchi combo didn't exist, I think you would still beat the decks you beat and you would still lose to the decks you lose to. So I think the, the strongest thing about the Rebecca spend on Luchi combo is that it earns you extra defense in the mirror match. But if the mirror match is going to be completely warped by just playing Jack when you go first, I think it's worth look, look, looking into alternative engines that might help us deal with Jack. So I think Navy is one of these engines where, I don't know, maybe by like spamming like early like Kuzans or something like that, uh, like spamming like early Kuzans, or maybe if we play like a Sengoku or something before their Jack turn, we actually have a chance to respond to Jack. So I do think Navy engine is something to consider for that reason. And obviously Brandon could search Ice Ages, which will also be uh, very important against Jack. So yeah, I think that uh, the strongest thing about CP Engine was Rebecca spend on Luchi. Obviously, it's generically strong. But once again, just to reiterate, just that way y'all understand what I'm saying. You Even if this combo didn't exist, you would probably still beat the decks you beat. And you'd probably still beat lose to the decks you lose to. So it's all about the mirror match. And I think in order to, you know, uh, get some more points in the mirror match, we might have to switch up the engine. But anyways, let's go ahead and debrief. That is it for my OPO8 Luchi video. Jack, yo, Jack really has me messed up, man. Because like... These mirror matches are just not going to be fun, bro. It's just not going to be fun. Um, As I said, we're really early into the format, so there's probably, like, some type of, like, deck list or strategy that will help us counter Jack. But right now, the way it looks, it's like, yo, if you're the player going first, you play Jack on seven. I don't know what anybody's doing to you, bro. I guess it's time for me to switch to BY Luffy or something, bro. Because uh, it's looking a little crazy. But for those of y'all who've already been uh, testing OPO8 for a bit, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for the list. Let me know if Jack isn't as broken in mirror matches as i think it is because i really do think it's like it just seems really crazy right but anyways with that being said i'll catch you on the next one